Well, one muskie in the boat yesterday. Can we do any better today? What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. Jim and I are up in northern Wisconsin. This is day two of... Uh, of our should be Canada trip but now northern Wisconsin trip so we're out pitching some bucktails we got one fish yesterday and we're gonna see if we can improve upon that throwing bucktails top waters some diving rises we've got 68 69 degree water temps we're pitching weeds that's the program let's get at it Fish? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice fish, Jim. Well, son of a gun. Okay. Good, I got him. I'm yeah. afraid the really horse knife. Yeah, just keep his keep his head down there. <laughs> Swim right in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> well, that's cool. That is cool. I'm gonna put the spot lock on, keep us in place here. If I could figure out how to do that. I haven't used it in a while. There we go, anchor. Okay. Yeah, I, been, I thought it was a weed again, because it really did hit hard. And You're all right. of a sudden it was like, doot, doot. <laughs> doot, doot, tootsie. All right, well, I'll have you. Boy, we're not even prepared right now. We don't even have the big camera up and running or anything. Yeah. All right. There, that ought to do it. I got her. I'll, I'll get her out and get her measured. I've got it recording right right now. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, she should be going. All right, buddy. Let's see what what we're dealing with here. That's a good sign. We just got started here. That's a nice little. F I bet. I bet he'll. He's got himself unpinned. Okay. Yeah, I just wasn't sure how good a hook set I had. I yeah. Lean on him too much. All right, buddy. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. All right. Yeah, Jim's fish. A nice little, I'm guessing a 35 or 36 here. Yep, just touches the 35 there. That's a cute little guy. We'll get a couple, you want to get a picture or two with him, yeah, Jim? Yeah, okay. I got to get a glove up. Yeah, I'm yep, we'll put him back in the net, let him chill out, and get, uh, <laughs> get Jim his picture here. All right, there we go. We got Jim's fish, a nice little 35 inch northern Wisconsin greenie. We'll get her back in the water here. You want to just walk her to the back there? That didn't take too long. That's a good feeling to get one, <laughs> get one out of the uh, right out of the gate there. So, all right, 35. Hopefully we can go up from here. Um, we saw a couple nice fish yesterday. 
we are on a different lake right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna fish here. We might fish the other lake a little bit. We're gonna bop back and forth between the two, and uh, it's a good start so far. Fish, fish. Okay, ready? Oh. Cool. Oh, that's a tiger. That is a tiger. All right, go ahead and grab the camera. Got her going there. Got the red light, yeah. really? Okay. <laughs> you can get her up there, yeah. Get you in the frame. <laughs> All right. Well, this is what? 10 minutes after Jim got his, it looks like another, you know, it's probably a low 30s, but this is a tiger, so this is really cool. Uh, let's see if I can, I can get him. I don't even know if he's gonna stretch the required amount to see how big he is. All right, come here, buddy. You're a little on the short side. That's all right though. That was a cool, that's a cool little fish. Look at the, kind of get a, get a close up of him there. That is a neat little guy right there. Man, like I said, I don't, he's not, he's not 35. Nope, he's, we'll have to measure right to that first thing there the first hinge but my gosh what a pretty little fish all right I'll sneak behind you we'll let him go yeah you will yeah you want to go already don't you ha <laughs> uh, all right well that is cool so let's see, how big of a tape is this? Oh yeah, it should be. So zero is right there. He was 30, 31, because he was just short of that hinge right there. So that 31 inch tiger. All right, so my little tiger ended up being 31 inches. We measured to the spot that I saw the tail go to. So um, 31 incher, which means I can uh, register that through musky zinc and for all of you out, out there wondering why are you dealing with this little fish why don't you just knock it off the boat i bust my ass to catch muskies i don't want to do that if you want to knock them off the boat that's fine i like netting them i like getting a picture of them i like registering them with musky zinc they can use that data so if you're wondering why i deal with small fish that's why and i just like to know i haven't been doing this long enough apparently just to knock every fish off so that's it how well these diving rises will actually bust through weeds. Oh, I spoke too soon. Yeah. All right, well, I'm using the old 8-inch nav and diving rise and uh, pulling up some prime musky real estate here, but... We will see if we can get one to, to go on the old navin. Oh, 
there's a fish. Just a little guy. Looked like one of those mid-30s. Didn't want to hang around. I had one come up. Little guy. But didn't want to stick around. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, we just got off, he got off. Oh, it was a little musky. Yeah, I saw him give a couple head shakes. I just saw the swirl after he got off. Yep, gosh darn it. I don't, like I said, I don't think it was a big one. It's probably sort of the same size we've been dealing with, but uh, oh, at least it was something. Well, that's one for the Navin, or almost one for the Navin. All right, well, we've got really good weather leading up to this point, but it looks like we're going to get wet. Um, up to now, a couple fish in the boat, a follow, lost a fish on a dive and rise. We're gonna try to fish for another couple minutes, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna get knocked off by rain. Luckily, there's a little establishment we can go into, get some food, maybe have a drink or two, and maybe wait this out and hopefully get back out here. All right, well, we waited out the storm, had a little food, may have had a beer or two, and we're back on the water. I'm going to start out with a beat up little sister, and Jim's deciding whether or not he's going to take a nap. Well, I'm gonna get <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so he's going to be throwing a double eight killer corn, and we've got about two and a half hours to get one. So. Wish us luck. Oh, there's a follow. I just had a follow. Boy, I can barely see him. I think he just kind of took off to the the side there. Ooh, that was tough to see. There was a fish there. Man, that water's just inky. All right, well, another follow for the Navin. Not, just kind of hoping for a hit. Knock off this following stuff. All right, well, I think this is my last cast here. It's raining hard enough that it is really making it tough to film. We've only got maybe an hour left, and I don't think this is going to give up on us. So I think we're going to be smart for once. Go home with our two muskies, which I'm happy with, and uh, dry up here and get ready for tomorrow. All right, well, here's the outro for you guys because it was raining, and I didn't want to get my camera wet. Where are we? Let's see. Who's over here? <gasps> Who's in the background? That's Robbie from What's Today's up? Angler. <laughs> and this audio is probably going to be crap because I don't have my... No mic. No yeah, mic, yeah. but this this will work. So, um, yeah, we got two fish today. Uh, Robbie's guiding tomorrow. Jim and I are going to go out tomorrow musky fishing again. And I think Robbie and I are going to try to fish... One of these days. One of these I days. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're going to try to get out. So... Uh, that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate every single one of you and I will see you on the next video.